All right, let's try this again. Sun came out. Of course, now it's steaming out here. Most of the wetness is dried up. And, well, I had latex gloves in here, unless my wife took them out because she uses my gloves all the time. <sighs> Let me go see if she has them. All right, all right, all right. Today is oil change day. On the big boy, Casper, the friendly ghost. This big old truck. And as I say that, I feel a little bit of sprinkle. So we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, put all the oil in there. That will go under here somewhere. Let's go back and get the rest of the stuff. All right, got our tools to uh, take off the oil plug. I don't remember what size it is. Got my funnel to put the oil in. Got my whatever the heck that tool is called to take off the oil filter. And got my towel so I don't get all dirty laying on the ground. Now I'll go back, get my keys to the truck, and pop the hood. All right, if any, if any of y'all have this truck, which I'm assuming you do if you're watching the video, I went to the landfill yesterday, that's why it's so dirty. But if any of y'all have this truck, you know the struggle of trying to reach anything in this hood. Where is the, uh, it's, it's been a minute. I'm embarrassed myself here. All right, got the hood open. But like I was saying, y'all know the struggle. I mean, it's high to get all the way up in here. Like I'm on my tippy toes right now. I'm five foot 11, not the tallest guy, but I'm not exactly tiny. And I'm all the way up on my tippy toes to reach this oil dipstick. That's how high this thing sits up. But anyways, let's get to draining the oil. All right, so one good thing about having a truck that sits this high, I don't need to jack it up. I just lay right under it. But as you can see, here's the uh, front uh, four wheel drive. So it's right behind that. It's towards the front of the truck. Drain plug, my k &N air filter. So right now, I'm gonna take off that drain plug. Let me find the exact right socket size. So as I knew what happened, as soon as I start, it's pouring. My legs are getting all wet, so I'm gonna get out. But here is the size, what is that, 5.8? That's what I'm using to take it off. I don't know that that's the perfect size, and I say that because it goes on. There's just a little bit of turn in it, just a little bit, but it works. And that's the size I'm going to use, but I'm going to get out from under here right now until it stops raining, and then we will continue this. I swear I wouldn't expect anything else to happen, but that, the way my luck's been lately. So I, that rear driver's side tire. I was at the landfill the other day and there was a big piece of metal sticking out of the ground and it slashed the tire. I ended up replacing all four tires with a little bit better mud tires, but that happened. Um, just little things of bad luck on one of my dumpsters that I think I posted a video on it, but tire popped and had to put a new rim and everything. So when it rains, it pours, literally. Now I'm trying to change the oil and it starts to rain. So now we gotta wait for all this to go away. All right, let's try this again. Sun came out, of course now it's steaming out here. 
most of the wetness is dried up. And well, I had latex gloves in here, unless my wife took them out because she uses my gloves all the time. Let me go see if she has them. All right, so there's my oil thing. There's my thing to catch the oil. As you see in there, it's got some kind of a uh, stopping thing. So when I take that nut out and it falls in there, it won't go down inside. This will stop it, that thing there. Hopefully, I have this lined up right, good enough where the oil will go right into there. And of course, my wife used up all my latex gloves. So now I'm about to get oil all over myself. I swear I can't have nothing. Y'all married men out there, you go through the same thing I do. <clears throat> Went into using all your stuff. Can't have nothing. She uses it to cook and marinate her meat and all that stuff. And my gloves and she uses them to clean. So she emptied out my whole box of latex gloves. Pissed me off. Alright. Let's hope this works. Oh yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So I do my oil change every 5,000 miles. And we are at that point now. And you still see, even after only 5,000, how it's black. Um, if I go by what the car says, I don't do it every 5,000. The computer comes on and tells you when it's time, but I do mine every 5,000. Oil's cheap, engines are not. Let me let this drain and I'll be right back. So, while it's draining, which it's almost done, the back side, I guess, there is your gas tank. That long thing. No wonder it's so damn much money to fill that thing up. Holy moly. But I guess that's my gas tank. I don't see anything else that'd be a gas tank, so that's got to be it. At 30,000 miles, which is in 10,000 more miles, because I'm at 20,000, I'm going to change my transmission fluid which is right there so that should not be too bad either there's finish somewhere under here I have thrown the tool to remove this but I'm gonna have to get out from under the truck to find it so I'm gonna try to see if I can loosen this by hand now that's almost done draining let's see oh yeah I can turn that that is almost done. As you see right there is the plug. It did not fall in there. So this is almost done. I know the camera work is not the best, but I am not a professional and I'm trying to do this the best I can. I'm laying on the ground, I don't have a lift, so y'all just gonna have to bear with me. But now that I say the truck has 20,000 miles, Chevy 2500 HD Custom Gas, uh, I have had no problems with it so far. Except, which I mentioned in another video, the display for the radio once in a while will freeze up and I can't do nothing with it. It only lasts a few seconds, but that's a known problem. And I gotta get it to the dealer and get that reported. So somebody left me a comment in one of my videos saying that they will reflash the radio and that fixes the problem. So hopefully it'll be that simple. And uh, that'll be that. This truck does hold eight quarts of oil. In case you did not know that, in case you were wondering, eight quarts of oil. Alright, that's that. Let me get my trusty socket wrench here. Alright. Very good. 
because once I put oil, I'm going to drive the truck out of here and pull all this stuff from under the truck. Oil filter time. Well, shit, I thought I was going to be able to do it. There we go. Okay. Oh, That's why I wanted gloves. Damn it, man. Looks like uh, chocolate sauce all over them. Feels smooth. I don't feel like dirt or metal, which is always good. Feels very smooth, so I guess that's good. All right. All right. So. Got the new. Yeah, it is hot, but it's it's not hot under here. I bet it's not. There's my new air filter. Oh man, oil filter. What's that? I didn't pick a good time to change my car part either. Uh, Should have waited till nighttime. I'm doing a YouTube video on how to change the oil on this truck. Are you? Yeah, so everybody can hear your sexy voice. Hang in there. That's my neighbor. He's a cop. I should make him come down here and do this. I would help you, but I'm a cripple. You're a cripple. He just had That's surgery. Absolutely help you. Yeah, I'm sure you would. All right, later. All right, so we put on that oil filter. Just tighten it up. Shit. I swear I feel like I'm a cripple. Don't want to go too tight, but you want it to be snug. I think that's just about it. I don't want to over tighten it. Of course, having it full of oil doesn't help either. All right, let me get a clean paper towel to wipe this off and then we're done under here. Thank God. All right, real quick before I get from under the truck. I forgot to tell you, on here, on the new oil filter, here's the old one. You can see there's a rubber seal that goes around. Always take some oil. I take it just from the old oil and rub it around the seal before you put it on. That helps it seal tight. Um, always do that. So I did that. And the reason I wipe everything off is just in case if I, I'm human, I could make a mistake. Let's pretend there's a little bit of an oil leak or something like that. Um, now that it's clean, I would see if it's leaking. I could see if it'd be leaking from here or in here, it would drip down here. And I would see it because this is clean and not full of oil. So that's why I always uh, wipe it off. But we're gonna get from under the truck now and go add our oil, our eight quarts of oil and see how that goes. But you see, I even got some here. I'm making a mess, but that's what happens when you try to film and everything else. All right, let's get from under this truck. All right, so the next thing is to add oil, which right there, but I absolutely cannot reach that because this truck is too tall. So I gotta go get a chair, forgot to bring that out. And uh, we'll add those eight quarts of oil. I just use Castrol because it's always done good for me. I like it. Obviously I'm sure any name brand is fine. I just happen to like Castrol. Here's the uh, oil oil filter for the 2500, 2021. Um, it's all I've used since I bought the truck. That's the number, the filter number, in case you guys wanna order it. Um, I get mine off Amazon. That's where I usually order my oil from too. When there's a deal out there, I grab it. Um, I mean, I've been happy with it. it says 20,000 mile range. Um, cause if you buy those cheap, here's a helpful hint for you guys. If you buy a cheap, um, oil filter, like a no name brand, $2 oil filter, 
they don't last as long. The filter will usually last up to about 3,000 miles, then they're pretty worthless. So I get a, I spend a little bit more, but it will last a lot better and a filter will last longer and, and just do better, keep the oil clean. So, so I don't mind spending a couple extra dollars. Like I said, oil, oil filters, cheap engines are not. And I do heavy towing with this and I need this truck to last. So I take really good care of it. Um, but let me go get a chair and we will add our oil. All right. So I took that cap off, put this right in there. And we could add our eight quarts of oil. So as you see on the lid, 5W30 and our oil is 5W30 and it says what is that Dexos D-E-X-O-S probably not even saying it right and it says it right there too so like I said it takes eight of these I usually have um five gallon ones but I use those up so I'll just have eight of these it's cheaper to buy the five gallon one but I had extra of these this obviously doesn't work well when you're trying to use one hand here and mess is my middle name they call me Eric mess all right one down I'm gonna put the other eight I'm not gonna film all of it because it's a pain to open all these one-handed all right there's all eight of them they all have been put in here. Take this out. Try to pull it out quickly so I don't get oil everywhere. Drip everywhere. Right there. Put this back in. Hopefully. There we go. Let's see. A little oil residue there. So, all the oil's in it. Now, to clean my hand. Um, clean my hand and then see if I could do this one hand. I'm gonna check the oil level. Actually, I need to let it. All right, I need to go take a shower. But before I do that, start it up. Everything looks good. Check the oil pressure gauge. See how that looks. All right, that looks normal. As you see, my mileage, 19.773. I still had about 200 miles left before I needed to change it, but I had time today. Now I need to move the truck forward. I got stuff under it and instead of climbing back under there go ahead my neighbor leave it instead of climbing up under there I just pull it forward so I can get everything out hopefully I don't run over nothing All right. so far so good I don't hear any crunching so I temporarily block this. This is where I'm gonna end the video, but you see I got a little bit of oil there. That's what dripped down my hand. Um, I'll clean all that up. I gotta clean this up. I like to leave my stuff clean. I'm putting it on top of the towel because the towel's going in the garbage, so don't freak out. Uh, this. So with that, obviously all the oil's in there. I, uh, close it up I'll, I'll wipe it all down clean it up 
then I take that to like O'Reilly's or some auto part place and they will they will empty it recycle it and they give it right back to me so I do not dump oil in the ground or anything like that I do it the way it's supposed to be done that's why I spent money on it got my tools here gotta put those away but anyways, that's how you change the oil on the Chevy. Super simple. Just like just about any other car. If y'all have any questions, let me know. If this video sucks, I'm sorry. I've learned something today while I changed the oil. I am not able to change oil and film all at the same time. It just doesn't work. And of course, as I pull the truck forward, somebody needs to come through. Never fails. So I'm ending this video. If you got any questions, as always, let me know. Peace.